everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm gonna do a ring pour on it and let's go over my paints. Uh, my base coat today is um, a combination of the Folk Art Pearl White and then I added about two tablespoons, tablespoons excuse me, of the Deco Art Satin Enamel to that. I'm looking for a cloudy effect or pop up some little cells there with this metallic. And my next paint is the Modern Masters Silver. And my next paint again is Modern Masters Rose Quartz. Very pretty, real, real, real light pink color there. My next color is the Blick Light Blue Violet. My next color is the Porridge Posse Paint Morning Pansy Shimmer. These are Christina Welsh's paints. Um, I'm giving a shout out to Christina. You should uh, check out her channel and I will list that in the description. And my last paint is again the Porridge Posse Paint um, Galaxy Blue Shimmer. Very pretty, very pretty paints. Deep hue, you don't really need much paint. Pouring medium today is I'm using the mix, so seven parts mix to one part paint. I did give like mm, maybe one squirt of water to each of my paints just to thin them down a little bit. Let me show you consistency. I didn't want them too thin with the ring pour. You can just see consistency there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is turn the camera off. I'm gonna put down my base coat on the corners and around the edges, and I'm going to um, layer my cup, and then I'll get you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I filled my cup, I've put my uh, base coat down around the edges and the corners, and there's my cup, all filled, and we're just going to do a ring pour, and I think I will pour it from the side here, and just make a little funnel spout there. Try and start my rings here. And I think I'll have plenty of paint for this canvas. What I'm going to do is save a little bit of the paint and I'm going to put some ribbons over the top. And I want to give a shout out to Chris Jezik. I've seen her do um, ring pours with ribbons. And if you get a chance, check her channel out and I will also link her channel in the description. And what she does is she just takes some of her paint that's left and she just make some ribbons across before she starts tipping. And there's still a little bit of paint left and if I have to do more ribbons after I've tipped, then I have that available. Just a quick torch here. I just did make this paint up so it does have some air bubbles in it. I also have a little bit of paint left of all my colors in case I need to make another cup up. I'm not happy with something here. OK, 
Okay, so let's get to the fun part, the tipping. Again, my paint's a, a little bit on the thicker side here today than I normally use, but that's what you wanna do for the ring pour. Oh, and I do want to, now I'm thinking about it, I do want to put a little bit more of my white paint here around just to help the paint flow. Better you try and catch what you wanted to do before you're all finished with your tipping here. Okay, that's a little better. Let's get back to some tipping now. Bring it back to the middle. And I will apologize if you are off camera for any of the tipping. I'll do my best. This is a bigger canvas. So, I'll try and get you in most of it. I will go over this edge and bring it back. Bring it back down towards the center here. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at it. If I have negative space today too, that's okay. I think I will try and get down to this corner. See how I'm cupping my hand here? You can use that as a guide and then you can just bring your paint back to save some of your paint. You can also use an edge catcher. A lot of artists do that. Any piece of cardboard or plastic. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down here and just take a look at it a minute. Clean my hands off. And I think I am going to give it another ribbon here. Just to break that up a little and maybe one more here. Okay, and I, I think I'm going to pour a little cup right there since um, since I think I need to have a little bit more paint on here. So I'm going to do that quick. And it's also fun to do. I did get, oh, about two layers of each color in my big cup before.
Okay. Let's see what we get here. Okay. And I just used my skewer to fix up that little circle in the middle there. And I'm gonna give it another torch. Okay. So let's just do a little more tipping here. Gonna just, that new circle I made, the new ring I made, I'm just gonna stretch that right out. And bring it back. And bring it down a little bit. That's looking really good there. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more white paint on the edge over here to help that make it over the edge. Okay. A little more tipping there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some colored paint down at this edge because I really don't want to run that right off the edge there. So I think what I'm going to do is add some purple down here. A solid purple. Okay, and now I'm just going to tip a little bit back and forth again. Sorry, you're not seeing this. There, that's better. I like that. Okay. All right. I think I might add a little bit of the um, purple right here also. And I may add it up here. Okay. 
And maybe also like a line of silver up here. And then we'll just, I'll just tip that off. And I will add more white to help tip this off. Okay, let's tip this first. And I may want to add another color in there. Now that I look at it, just looks a little bit too plain to me. So let's add some of the blue. Okay, let's do a little more tipping on that. Bring it back. And I'm going to tip down to the bottom here. And bring it back. Really liking how this is turning out. I'm going to tip it just a little bit this way again. I'm going to draw out that ring I put down here in the corner. Okay, take a look at it now and see if there's anything I want to change. I can run another ribbon through it. See if I can get a thin ribbon here. Okay, I kind of broke that up a little bit. And I'll try one down here. Just to break up, I still think that this needs a little bit, a little bit more down here. Take my skewer and play with this a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit more tipping there on that end. Okay, now I'm just going to take a look at it here and check my corners. Whoops, and I did a drip. That's okay. Check my edges. Looking very, very good. 
Loving the colors in this. It's cleaning the bottom off with my hands here a little bit. Okay, for some reason I have a blob of silver in here. I'm just really not liking the looks of, so just run your skewer through it. There, even that's better. Okay, I think I'll give it a torch. I just love this purple with the white. I think that's what the mix does. It, it gives you that cloudy effect too, and along with the enamel that I used. I am getting a few of the little white cells up, which is good, and the cloudiness. Pretty happy with that. I will work with the sides a little bit more off camera. Okay, everybody, here we are for the close-up. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I did a ring pour on and then I put some ribbons on top. And then I did pour another ring. Um, this is the upper left-hand corner. And as you can see, I did add that enamel and I did get some cells. And you'll see some cloudy effect here too. This is just going down the left hand side. Pretty in here. Really pretty in here. You can see some of that cloudy effect in there. Some of the cells down here from the enamel. This is the lower left hand corner. And I'm going to take you up the middle here. Here's where I added that purple. And I'm glad I did because you, you there are sharp parts of this painting along with all the muted. And this is one of the sharp parts that draws your eye. Just going up the middle here. The lines are very crisp in here. Pretty happy with that. And again, a lot of cells in here. Happy with that too. This is very pretty in here where it's muted, where that blue came and kind of bled through there with that white. That's very pretty. Again, more cells. Purple is really pretty in there too. And here is this that extra ring that I did pour and I'm glad I did. Just added a whole new dimension to this painting. More cells. This is the lower right hand corner. Again, this is where I added some paint there and then just uh, tipped it off. Just going up the right hand side. Pretty in here too. And this is the upper right hand corner. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this whole painting. It's got a lot going on for it. I already know the person that I think would just love this painting. So um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it and ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.